Hello students, in this part of the video we are going to discuss third layer of SDLC which is system design layer. So we are going to discuss system design, what are the objectives of system design and we will discuss about logical and physical design. So let's start. So system design is the next level of SDLC after system analysis. So it is considered as the third layer of uh, SDLC. We are going to discuss system design but before going to discuss system design we will discuss how the input is taken by the system design. So before that we discussed about system analysis. So system analysis is the logical design concept. So logical design of an information system developed during system analysis phase defines functions and features of the system. It means that how this system will work in future and after preparation of the system how the features of the system will uh, respond to the user. So logical design includes output that must be produced by the system input needed by the system and processes that must be performed by the system without regards to how task will be accomplished physically. So if we explain uh, deeply that the system ne kya kiya ki output generate ki. System analysis part ke andar hum discuss karenge ki kaise system input lega, kaise system process karega us input ko or kaise output deliver karega. This is the logical concept. But in next phase of system design ki hum baat karenge. So system design is logical design ko physical design mein convert karta hai. Kaise physically ye work karega. Ye hum system design ke andar dekhenge. So how we define system design? Simple definition is during system designing phase, logical design is translated into physical design with respect to user's requirement, data flow of existing system, input output specification of existing system. In contrast to logical design, physical design is a plan for actual implementation of the system. हम यहाँ ये कहना चाह रहे हैं कि जब हम logical design जो कि हम सिस्टम एनालिसिस लेयर पर बना चुके हैं सिस्टम एनालिसिस से सिस्टम डिजाइन की तरफ आएंगे तो लॉजिकल डिजाइन से फिजिकल डिजाइन पर मूव करेंगे लेकिन हमें किन चीजों का ध्यान रखना पड़ेगा मेनली हमारा फोकस रहेगा कि यूजर्स की रिक्वायरमेंट क्या थी डेटा फ्लो कैसे होगा एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम का एंड इनपुट आउटपुट स्पेसिफिकेशन कैसे हम कर पाएंगे एग्जिस्टिंग सिस्टम का कि क्या इनपुट्स होंगे कैसे उनको प्रोसेस किया जाएगा और क्या आउटपुट डिलीवर की जाएगी Physical design is the actual implementation, how the system behaves after implementation. Apart from this, physical design specific, uh, specification must answer the following questions. The questions are how data will be entered, means we are talking about input. Second is how the files are organized, means how our database is to be managed if we are giving some input. These inputs are stored at some place. So what, what is that place? How this data is to be organized? Third is how reports will be generated. This is the concept we are talking about output. Means how the output is organized in the form of reports or in the form of displaying on the screen. So what will be, fourth is what will be a format or layout of the reports? If we are uh, saying that we are generating some output in the form of reports like monthly bank statements or uh, quarterly bank statements. So we are defining at what format we are delivering this output. So this is the main focus of our system design. So these four questions are most important. Um, input kaise enter karayenge? Um, us input se jo डेटा जनरेट होगा उस डेटा को कहां स्टोर कराने वाले हैं उसके बाद जो आउटपुट जनरेट होगी वो किस फॉर्म में होगी उसकी रिपोर्ट्स कैसी होंगी एंड द लास्ट इज उन रिपोर्ट्स का फॉर्मेट क्या होगा लेआउट क्या होगा स्ट्रक्चर क्या होगा हाउ 
these uh, reports will look like so this is about physical design how we develop system design objectively what is the perspective of system design or what are the key points on which we develop any system architecture so the best possible design should have these following features practicality correctness completeness efficiency and flexibility uh, let's we discuss one by one but first is practicality means the system must be stable and can be operated by people with average intelligence it means the least or average intelligence person means a, a normal person which is not a very technical person who is also able to manage his work by this system it means practically it is possible second is correctness it means the design is developed according to the user needs what what are the requirements delivered by the client is managed in term of system design so the complete and correct design is managed or uh, obtained then third is completeness it means the design should have all the components like data structure modules external interfaces it means whatever the requirements were delivered by the client uh, at the time of requirement analysis design is covering all the aspects including all the screens including all the necessary details which is to be provided by the system to kehne ka matlab hai yahan par ki yahan par jitne bhi external interfaces honge external interfaces are the screens which are to be shown to the uh, end user and various modules means our our system is developed in many parts many components so all the modules are covered and system is uh, complete itself then third is uh, fourth is efficiency efficiency means how system behaves how naturally system behaves and how resources are utilized if more number of resources are utilized efficiently we can say that our system is efficient and last one is flexibility the system should be modifiable or scalable depending on the changes needs uh, changing needs of users it means in future if some of the components or modules are to be redesigned or to be restructured then our system design allow those changes this is very important feature because nowadays uh, every system has to manage according to according to the user needs time to time these needs are changed and we have to modify the system according to the needs or perspective now next is type of system design system is divided system design is divided into logical and physical system design so first we are going to discuss logical design so basically logical designs pertain to an abstract representation of data flow inputs and output of the system it describes the input output databases and procedures followed all in a format that meets the user requirement overall we are developing a system design how the system behaves so we are deciding from where the inputs are taken from where the output is to be delivered what type of databases are to be used to store the data and what procedures for followed for data flow to manage the data flow so answer to all the questions is system design a logical system design while preparing the logical system design system analysis uh, or system analyst plays an important role specifies the user needs at le level of details that virtually determine the information flow into out of the system the requirement data required data sources data flow diagram er diagram modelings are used to show data flow and various entities so in detail 
we can say that logical design of a system has a major role of system analyst who is uh, preparing all the use cases diagram all the data flow diagrams and entity relationship diagrams by the use of those diagrams he is managing inputs and outputs of the system apart from input and output the processing or the flow of information is also managed by system analyst during logical system design so here we are showing a logical design structure how this logical design is to be managed by various persons like system analyst and other designers so logical design is divided into three layers first is input output specification which is further divided into two parts first is screen layout how the system screen is to be shown and second is input output layout form how those input and output layout form is to be represented second leg is defined file specification where these files or input uh, taken input is to be managed and data is to be stored at some place so this is about file specification form third is processing specification in this part we are discussing about the flow of the data how this data is flowed and after this uh, data flow what type of report layout is to be used to show the output of the system so this is a overall diagram in the form of a tree where we are describing different fields in different sections so these can be easily managed if they are separated from each other after discussing logical design we will discuss physical design in this part of video so physical design is generated on the basis of logical design that is already discussed so how these physical design help to generate actual output produced by the system and what actual inputs are to be taken by the system this is a key focus of physical design it focus on how data is entered into a system how this data is to be verified that actual data is to be entered or correct data is to be entered and next is how data is to be processed what kind of process is to be followed and how this data is to be displayed after processing as a output so all these part related to data are the key concern in physical design it produces the working system by defining design specification that specifies exactly what a candidate system does means what kind of screen is to be uh, pop up on the uh, candidate side what kind of form is to be opened to fill a form or what kind of user interface is to be provided at user side so main focus of physical design is interface designing and process designing so it majorly focus on interface design user interface design process design and data design means kya data hum use karne wale hain इस फॉर्म में वो डेटा यूज किया जाएगा पूरा प्रोसेस क्या होगा उस डेटा को इनपुट से लेकर और आउटपुट तक पहुंचने के बीच में कैसे उस डेटा को प्रोसेस किया जाएगा कैसे सिस्टम ये वेरीफाई की करेगा कि वो इनपुट डेटा करेक्ट है या नहीं है आफ्टर वेरिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट डेटा इन डेटा को प्रोसेस किया जाएगा और लास्ट में किसी आउटपुट की फॉर्म में उसको प्रोड्यूस किया जाएगा तो ऐसे उसको डिस्प्ले कराना है ये भी फिजिकल डिजाइन ही हमें बताएगा आफ्टर प्रोसेसिंग ऑफ द डेटा फिजिकल डिजाइन इंक्लूड्स सम फीचर्स लाइक स्पेसिफाइंग द इनपुट एंड आउटपुट मीडिया डिजाइन द डेटाबेस डिजाइन द प्रोग्राम्स स्पेसिफाइंग 
backup procedures and make a test plan uh, so these are the key concerns about physical design कौन कौन से इनपुट और आउटपुट मीडिया यूज किए जाएंगे उनको स्पेसिफाई करता है सिस्टम डिजाइन इस टाइप का डेटाबेस बनाया जाएगा जिसमें रिक्वायर्ड डेटा इनपुट किया जा सके किस तरह के प्रोग्राम डिजाइन किए जाएंगे जो डेटा फ्लो के अंदर हेल्प करेंगे जो उस रिक्वायर्ड डेटा को आउटपुट में कन्वर्ट कर पाएंगे एंड बैकअप प्रोसीजर क्या होगा वंस द सिस्टम इज फेल्ड how this system is to be recovered with the backup procedures and after completing a comp system hum kaise ye kar test karenge kaise hum outputs ko test karenge ki users ki need ke according sahi outputs generate hui hain ya nahi hui testing is one of the most important part in system development because if a system is developed and it is not tested it cannot be processed further because uh, it may be a life hazard or many other circumstances are to be created if a system is not fully tested